Welcome everybody to You Can Handyman. If I could do it, there is no doubt in my mind, you can. So how's it going ladies and gentlemen? And what I'm going to talk to you about today is putting a windshield wiper on your golf cart. Yes, a windshield wiper on your golf cart. Motorized. I know. Ridiculous. But I love doing ridiculous projects. And I love doing projects that just need to be done around the house. And uh, I'll share those with you. Maybe I could help you out. And uh, maybe I could teach you something. And maybe I can, you know, take on some projects you normally pay somebody to do. And these days, we need to save every penny we can. So this project's done, but I want to share it with you. I have a lot of projects that are already done that I'll be sharing with you. And I'll also do projects where we'll do it together, each step all the way through. So... Let me show you how I did this and, uh, you know, maybe you'll take on this project yourself. So my wife and I moved to a uh, new community uh, here in Texas, I actually moved to Texas and we moved to this community. It's really nice. Um, and we saw a bunch of people drive around on golf carts and we said, wow, that looks like fun. So I talked to one of the neighbors about their golf cart and they were like, yeah, um, get a golf cart, you put a slow moving vehicle sign on it, you don't have to register it or put a plate on it as long as you keep it in the community and you're good to go. And I was like, awesome. So Fawn and I went and looked at some golf carts and we bought one. And when we uh, left the place, we bought a used one, we were driving and I looked at her and said, did we actually just buy a golf cart? Never thought I'd own one, um, but I'm glad we did. We like it. It's great to take to the pool, great to take to the, uh, the little lake they have here. And uh, we have an older dog that can't walk very far these days, and uh, he loves it. So, yeah, we've been having a good time with it. So, what do I decide to do? Why not make it street legal? I find out you can put a plate on it, and you can drive around on the streets that are 35 miles an hour and under. So, that's what I've been doing. I've been working on making it street legal. And one of the projects was the windshield wiper now i've seen golf carts uh with the windshield wiper and it's usually just a little hand thing and you just go back and forth and i'm like that's boring let's try to do something cooler so let me show you it while i explain to you uh how i did this and um yeah we'll go from there right on let's check it out so here's the golf cart now the golf cart it says it's an rxv which i mean it I think that means it has lithium batteries and all that. It does not. Uh, the guy that I bought it from used, he uh, rebuilds them, you know, probably buys them at, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, golf, you know, old golf carts and uh, redoes them up. And he put a new body on this and suspension and rims and all that. And when I got it, all it was was the golf cart and the seats. And that was about it. You know, all the other stuff that you may see on here, it, it did have the top, but, um, you know, like these armrests and the speedometer and the blue lights and the radio, all that stuff I installed. So, the windshield wiper. Now, here it is. It is motorized. Um, what happened at, my, uh, at the shop, uh, I had to, I do uh, PDR, paintless dent repair on hell damaged cars. And I had a car come in where the back uh, was a, I believe, a 16 or 17 Ford Explorer, and the back glass was smashed out. And the insurance approved it for a used piece of glass, so I call LKQ um, and Keystone, LKQ Keystone. I order a back glass. What they do? They send me the whole entire gate. The gate was crashed in, but the glass was good. So I figured, let me strip down this gate and get all the panels off of it. That way it'll save me a little bit of money when I have my glass guy come out and transfer it from the used gate into the vehicle that needed it. And I stripped that motor off of it. And that is a back windshield wiper motor to a Ford <coughs> Explorer, I believe 16. So you can go to your local pick and pull or you could call LKQ Keystone and see if they have one used. You should be able to get one at a pick and pull really cheap. It doesn't have to be off a Ford Explorer, but I'll tell you, I got lucky and this one worked really, really well. So let me show you what I did and it was actually really easy and you could do this no problem. 
So here it is. Here's the windshield wiper. Here's the motor. As you can see, you can still fold down the front windshield if you want to keep the air coming through the way I set it up. So all I did is I drilled the main center hole and then I drilled the two mounting holes where the mounting was. I did paint the motor black. It was like gray and all these different colors and I thought it'd help hide it a little bit and make it look a little bit more presentable, which I believe it did. So I took the windshield off, which is plastic, drilled the two mounting holes and then drilled the center hole where the windshield wiper comes out. And that was it, and it was mounted. And I was like, okay, now we have to run the wires. So when I took it out of the vehicle, and if that's what you can do, go to a pick and pull, make sure you cut off a section of the plug, keep the plug that plugs into here, and keep a little bit of the wire. And that's right here, and I just tuck it up behind when I'm not using it. It is three wire, but you're only gonna use Two, and I ran it into a hole into the metal here it comes down down this pole I ran it I did have to remove a bolt uh, back behind here to get around it I, I moved remove this bolt too so I could get the wires fed down it goes down underneath and then up underneath here let me get my little hood prop which is this is just for fishing lines down a wall that I got from a Harbor Freight, a kit, and I just keep that in there just to keep this propped up when I have to fill the batteries with uh, distilled water. And I forgot to put a couple back on, so I can't forget to do that. Because I just filled up the uh, distilled water to batteries the other day, and I'll have a video on that along with how I wired this thing up. So I'm just giving you a real quick video. Wires come in. And they go down into this box which I installed which has some toggle switches and also through um, the fuse box so I have everything wired to a fuse then into the switch and you have to get a transformer too because you're running 48 volt not 12 so you're gonna have to watch my other video if you don't already have this wired into your golf cart on how to do this before you could do the windshield wiper so I will get on that and get that video out for you so <clears throat> that's where it comes in let's leave that like that for a second and then I have this switch box that I wired in and again I'm gonna have to do a video for you guys to show you how I did that and then right here you can see this one uh, is for the speedometer which is right up here and then the one next to it is for the windshield wiper and then this one's empty I haven't done anything with this yet so let's go ahead and get this back put back up and get it plugged in and then we'll turn it on and I'll show you how it works and I'll tell you I was very surprised on how well it works I have got caught in the rain and I do have canvas for the cart so we can enjoy it when it's not the best weather. <clears throat> I got a full canvas and I'll do a video on that also. So all you do is just fold this up. You get it plugged in. And boom, you hit the toggle switch. And it works perfect for me and the fawn sitting in the front. And it goes back and forth just right. It does catch these little bolts here, but it doesn't. No, it, the wiper hits them a little bit, but it doesn't hurt anything. And it actually works wonderfully. It's really might, you might look at this and go, there's no way I could pull that off. There's no way I could put that in. I am telling you, if I could do it, you could do it. When you shut it off, it does not go back to the top. You have to, you know, shut it off when it's at top. If you just shut it off, it's just gonna stop. But, boom, there you go. So, that is my windshield wiper on my golf cart. Easy peasy. Now I'll get that video out as soon as I can on the wiring, because you will need that. You cannot just, take this and hook it to the batteries um, 
because they are all tied together and they're putting out 48 volts, not 20 or 12 volts. So um, I will get on that wiring of that box so you guys can make sure that you put it in right without burning up the motor or anything like that. But meanwhile, get to a pick and pull. Find yourself a Ford Explorer. Pull out the uh, rear windshield wiper. The great thing is that a pick and pull, just start yanking the panels off. Anything that's in your way, just yank it off. I think all you'll need is maybe a, probably a 10 millimeter. Bring a couple wrenches with you, a couple adjustable wrenches. Uh, your impact, if you have one, a couple screwdrivers, and um, maybe something to pull, like a clip tool. <clears throat> um, let me show you the clip tool that I have here. Let me move my beverage out of the way. After I get a sip of that. So, this is one of my clip tools that I have here. That's all it is, it's just the pop out clips. Um, yeah, 10 mil adjustable wrench, you know, a couple of screwdrivers and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to knock this project out no problem. But that's it, guys. Windshield wiper on my golf cart. Came out really cool. All right, I'll see you. Thanks for viewing. I appreciate it. And hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, and if you go ahead and you give it a shot, I would love to see it. Maybe you could leave me some pictures. Uh, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.